Hello and welcome to this video of Chester Zoo. It goes with the Chester City one and the Chester Cathedral and all three have now been posted so you can go look and see about them. Now the history of Chester Zoo, it dates back to the turn of the 20th century when a boy named George Mottershead was taken to zoo in Manchester. What George saw that day inspired him to do something different. Determinedly, he told his father, when I have a zoo, it won't have many bars. George never forgot that day or the vow he made. In 1930, now grown up and with a family, he bought Oakfield House and seven acres of land for 3,500 UK pounds. And with him, he brought a group of animals from a zoo at Shavington near Crewe, the first animals of Chester Zoo. The zoo opened in 31, 1931, and in 1934 the North of England Zoological Society was born. By the time he died in 1978 at the age of 84, he had attained his dream of a zoo without bars. It was well and truly flourishing in Leicester. How amazing proud he'd be today, I reckon, to see this huge estate that is now, oh, it's a total of 500 acres. The zoo itself takes up a massive 125 acres, more than 10 times the size of that first bit of land that George bought, bought in 1930. Today it's not only the UK's most popular zoo and one of the top 15 in the world, it is also a highly respected centre for global conservation and research and passionate campaigners for wildlife all hang out here. All because one little boy cared deeply about animals more than a hundred years ago. I think that's special. Now having travelled the world in my younger days and having seen a lot of these animals in the wild, I must be honest, to me, I'm putting human feelings on this, they seem bored. Not all of them, but from what I've seen in the wild, I've seen uh, different cats in the wild like this, these just seem bored. They can hear other animals that they want to chase, but they can't get out. And the, the, I, I know if you say, well, you know, in the wild they'll get poached, etc., 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 and at least you can see them in a zoo. Yes, you can, but you're not seeing them as they are in real life, and you should never think you are. And I know everybody spouts, oh, conservation this and conservation that, it's not happening as quick as it should, as far as I'm concerned. These animals should not be kept in... I mean, that cat's passing its own comment on what it thinks of the situation. <laughs> but it's nice to see them, uh, and I won't be going on any safaris anytime soon. I only ever shot them with my cameras. In the old days, it was my... What was it? Eight, 16 millimeter bolex cameras and my big still cameras which were four inch by five inch negatives and you had to pull a hood over your head which was not funny in the back of an old truck bouncing along <laughs> but yeah you can see that these two just want to get in that gate that's that big bar you'll see them several times coming back to it it's not feed time the food's out they just want to get away from People pointing big camera lenses at them, like me. Look, they're going back to that door. And probably the general populace. I don't know. I am not a rhinoceros. Some say I look like one with my nose, but I'm not. And I thought I could make them dance. At least they'd be happy. So excuse me for doing this, but I thought it would cheer them up if they could see the video. <laughs> And there's a baby one. And these are the only two animals I've seen smiling. And I thought, I know, we'll make them dance as well. I could do it to the rhinos, I can do it to the humans. <laughs> and this one I like, this donkey with the camels. Really good.
and the only thing it seemed to be in its natural habitat was this an overhead train there you go no driver I think you just jump on but don't try to jump off over the, the animals <laughs> otherwise they will have a good time better than you will I did go up, but the view through the plexiglass wasn't good, so I never bothered. I didn't cover the whole zoo. I was only there for a day, and in all honesty, if you're doing videos and taking photos, you will not get round it in a day. You need to go two or three days on the trot. There's all the butterfly houses, the monkey houses, uh, oh, all sorts. <laughs> Beasties, snakes. Um, it's a huge zoo, but you have to have the time to do it. Sitatunga. The sort of half and a half. The stripey, <laughs> which is all, I suppose, part of the uh, camouflage. You can see, look, it's staring at a wall. Come on, that's not right. I know if they let it go, the, the animals, the, cab, the big cats, will eat them. So I'm not sure how you go around this. But I just get the feeling everything looked a bit cheesed off. They're doing the same thing every day in the same enclosure. And I, I suppose if they did it with me, I'd get cheesed off as well. But all the children loved it. They were all running about screaming and shouting. And look at this. Look at that. Look at this. I like that one. Part zebra. <laughs> but it wanted to see what was over the fence as well. Ears down and tail tucked under. And now I'm, I'm, I think as I'm getting older, I want to return everything to its original conditions. Rightly or wrongly. It's the same as these wee chaps. They're wonderful. They really are. And they do hear what they do in the wild. Wait till this pig goes. <laughs> and they do just what they do in the wild. They get up on their back legs and look around. But all they can see are aeroplanes in that wall. And I'm sorry, that just doesn't do it for me. It really doesn't. And one wee chap actually sat looking straight out my lens. <laughs> and to me, putting human language on it, that was a plaintive look. And then he showed me what he thought of what I was doing. He turned his back and flashed his bum at me. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's the last of the trilogy of Chester. The cathedral, the zoo and the town. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Share it if you want. I don't mind. And you might want to subscribe because then every time I make a new listing, at least you'll get notified of it. Thank you.